This brief video will give you proper instructions on the installation of the infiltrator quick bore chamber. Preparing the end cap. With a screwdriver or utility knife, start the tear out seal at the appropriate diameter for the inlet pipe. The seal allows for a tight fit for 3 inch, 4 inch, SDR35, and 4 inch Schedule 40 pipe. Pull the tab on the tear out seal to create an opening on the end cap. Installing the splash plate. Snap off the molded splash plate located on the bottom front of the end cap. Install the splash plate into the appropriate slots below the inlet to prevent trench bottom erosion. Once you are finished attaching the splash plate, you are now ready to lay the end cap and chambers into the trench. Begin by laying the inlet end of the first chamber on top of the end cap. The chamber is marked with the words inlet end to help confirm you are using the proper end. Once this connection is complete, shovel some soil over top of the joint to ensure that it is secure. I'm going to stand it up and do it once. You are now ready to install the remaining chambers. Lift and place the end of the next chamber onto the previous chamber by holding it at a 45 degree angle. Line up the chamber end between the connector hook and the locking pin at the top of the first chamber. Lower to the ground to connect. When the chamber end is placed between the connector hook and locking pin at a 45 degree angle, the pin will be visible from the back side of the chamber. The connector hook serves as a guide to ensure proper connection and does not add structural integrity to the chamber joint. Broken hooks will not affect the structure nor avoid the warranty. The last chamber in the trench requires an end cap. Lift the end cap at a 45 degree angle and insert the connector hook through the opening in the top of the end cap. Applying firm pressure, lower the end cap to the ground to snap it into place. Do not remove the tear out seal.